In ancient Israel, when they used to make sacrifices to the Lord, God always required the best. A lamb without spot, without blemish. Uh, bring your first fruits. Bring the best to the Lord. In the book of Romans that we're going through right now on Sunday mornings, here's what it says about sacrifice. He says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, acceptable to God. It's, it's the best we can give ourselves. And that's a principle I think that runs all through scripture. I love the story of Queen Mary of England, who many times would visit Scotland. She loved the people there and they loved her. So often she would go along the streets and walk through the cities without an escort, without any kind of entourage. And if you know anything about Scotland or England, it rains there a lot. And one day she was walking with some kids down a certain area and it began to cloud up, began to drizzle, and she made her way over to a small house, knocked on the door, and a lady answered. And she said, uh, excuse me, but could I borrow an umbrella from you and I will have it returned tomorrow? Well, the lady didn't recognize it was the Queen of England and she didn't want to give some stranger her best umbrella. So she kind of gave her this old tattered umbrella and you know, handed it to her and the queen thanked her and went on her way. Well, the next day, one of the royal guards showed up at this lady's house, knocked on the door, she, she opened the door and he said, on behalf of the queen, I'm returning the umbrella that you loaned her yesterday. And the lady was just, beside herself. She says, oh my gosh, I didn't recognize that it was the queen and I gave her my old umbrella. I missed the opportunity of giving my very best to the queen. And I just want to encourage you, you know, don't miss your opportunity as you go through life to give your best to the Lord. I mean, don't give him half-heartedness, don't give him unfaithfulness, don't, don't give him the what's left over. One day, you know, we'll stand before him and we'll recognize him for who he is. And we would want to be able to say, oh my gosh, I just gave the Lord everything that was useless. Present your body, give him your best as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Mm -hmm.